Okay guys, we're just going to practice the multiple engine failure as if you've gone into volcanic ash and then you get a multiple engine failure okay. on this point 747-8. Got in the right seat Giovanni and we've got Paul in the left seat here. So I just want you guys to see what is left once all the engines fail. So you're in the cruise now, let's say we're at 10,000 feet and on the instructor's panel, I'll look for that malfunction engine. Third strike and so on. Let's have a look. Flame out, no fuel flow. Flame out all engines. So I'll select that now. And on the notes, it says uh, all engines flame out. Staggered flame out occurs. Engines flame out in random order. Fuel flow drops to minimum. Engine winds down normally. Restart is not possible with malfunction active. So I can give you a restart later once. The aeroplane is descending but we're not going to do that i'm just going to fail the engine side to see what happens in the air in the cockpit what are you left with okay so i'll select that now flame out all engines there we go and execute so number one engine is failing engine one fail Number two engines failing. Number three engines failing. Oops. Autopilot disconnects. So, and the airplane is now in a turn. Okay, doesn't know what to do and it's descending. So, our flight freeze now. So, flight freeze. So, what do we have? The first officer's side, look, he's lost absolutely everything. No ND, no PFD. So the first officer can't fly. If if you're the first officer and you're flying, you'd immediately say to the captain, you have control. You have control. Right, Giovanni? I have control. So the captain would take control because the captain, through the standby power system, still has the uh, PFD, still has the ND, still has the standby as well. That standby is still working. And on the ICAST, there's multiple messages there which we're going to have to sort out. But that's not important. The important thing now is to fly and make sure the speed doesn't drop too far. We're doing 234 knots at the moment. Okay, there's no flight director, as you can see, it's got an FD there. Flight director has disappeared, but you can still fly. The airplane is flyable. One of the things it says on the checklist, in the uh, checklist, I'll show you in the QRH. So here's the checklist, multiple engine fail stall on here. It says one of these occurs one, two or more engines. Uh, engine flame out, engine indications are abnormal, any indications are more than more more than limits. Abnormal engine noises are heard, possibly with airframe vibration. There is no response to thrust lever movement, or the response is abnormal. Flames in the engine inlet or exhaust are reported. So to recover it, we put the fuel control switches to cut off, then back to run. These are the fuel control switches. So I'm going to release you. Just select cut off and then run. Okay? Okay. You do. Okay, cut off then run to try and recover the engines. That's to try and get the stall out. So let's see. We're descending. The airplane has to go down. You cannot maintain altitude. So we're descending. We're going towards the ground. And you've done a cut off and back on again, and we're trying to start these engines on the fuel control switch. That's the idea. So, if we follow the checklist, one of the things it says there is fuel control switch cut off, then run. Then it says ram air turbine switch push and hold for one second. The ram air turbine switch is up here, and Giovanni is going to select it, right. Yeah, it is ram air turbine is on and that's going to give us hydraulics on system three that allows the airplane to have more controllability because the hydraulic is now working okay that's all i wanted you to see the main thing is when you have multiple engine failure the first officer is unable to fly because all the his or her instruments disappear can't can't operate at all the captain through the standby power system coming from the battery 
can still fly, still has a PFD, still have an ND, standby ADI as well, and even the FMS. If you look there, the captain's one is available, the first officer one is dead. The middle A cars is not, not available. The first officer's radio control panel, that's gone as well, but the captain, we can still select frequencies and transmit on that. So everything is set up for the captain to take control of the airplane and fly. There you have it. Later. 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 That's later. Good.